Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerds Archive and in this one we're going to be looking at the standard release of the 14th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver by character. So unlike the online version, if this is a Sonic Screwdriver that you're hoping to get your hands on, it will be very much more easier to get this one than its Chrome online version exclusive. I'm sure that we haven't seen the last of it and it will appear throughout the course of the years and the series of Doctor Who when character decide to make uh, throwback toys. So much like the War Doctor Sonic, if you want this, you'll definitely be able to get your hands on it. And so here it is in the box. As you can see, the Doctor Who 60 Years logo has reappeared on the standard version, which only makes me think that maybe this is a Sonic that we're just going to have for the 60th. Going down, you can see it says that we have lights and sound effects, features, extending and opening emitter. Very similar to the online version, except there is no uh, online exclusive uh, sign here. The 14th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, electronic light and sound effects. On the side of the box, we have this lovely space background with the BBC Doctor Who 60 Years logo. On the back of the box, we get the 60 years with the same lights and sound effects, extending meters opening, da, 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 da. some information there about the 14th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. If you want to pause it with also how to access the batteries. All the information inside the box next to the Sonic is exactly the same as the online exclusive version. And once again, opening the Sonic is very, very nice and easy. Let me just move you to the side here. You don't even really need uh, scissors. I've just got a normal key here. Let's just see. Get that on there. Oh. Apologies, it's awkward doing this inside of a light box. <laughs> Come on, there we go. That's one. And that's two. And then just like the online exclusive, you just simply remove it out the box there. Oh, get it off, there we go. And then you have this nice little bit of tape here that stops it from extending while it's inside. Just nice and easily, where are you? There we go. Just pull that off there and there we go. You are ready to rock and roll. Now, of course, unlike the online exclusive, this does not have a chrome finish, but the normal uh, spray painted metallic silver finish that we've seen on many other sonic screwdrivers in the past. You can see that mine has already got some sort of scrapes here and there, which only just basically makes me want to get another one of these to keep in the box at a later date. See some more scratches there. So this will definitely be the one that I will probably take to Comic Cons and things and have in my pocket. And of course, let me just zoom you out here. Just like the online exclusive version, you slide up there to access the claws. Also what's made a return is the dial at the bottom of the Sonic. The nice little clicker there. On the whole, very nice to see the Sonic make a return. Um, I know obviously this is the standard version, but it's nice to see what the final toy looks like compared to its online version. Very nice. So again, starting with the head, we now have some more information that has been released about this Sonic. So obviously, I mean, I know there's supposed to be a groove here, which is supposed to be very reminiscent of the uh, third and fourth Doctor Sonic. But if I'm, not, if I'm honest, I just can't see it to me, especially with the admitter. It reminds me of the War Doctor Sonic. And I like how this bit here, which I said in the online exclusive version, it had a kind of 12th Doctor feel to it. But apparently now this has actually been designed to look like a Dalek gun. It's it's official now. <clears throat> and this goes back to when Rusty said that the Doctor was a good Dalek. So again, a nice little attention to detail there. I really do like that. The Gallifreyan on the emitter switch is, if I'm honest, I prefer it on this version as it is quite hard to see with the uh, chrome effect. It does look like it's in a bubble, but this thing properly looks like it's engraved there. So this definitely has a point over the online exclusive to me. The 10th Doctor's crackle style here is pretty much the same. It's exactly the same as the online exclusive. You're getting the same deal there. Here we have the 11th and 12th Dr. Sonic screwdriver leather section. It, once again, exactly the same. And then the dial here, now it's sort of weird to look at, but that's only because 
it turns out that the dial in this section on the online exclusive did have electroplating. So it, to me, I, I, I like it. I think it looks really nice. But obviously it's just something that I'm used to seeing. And you can see here at the bottom, I have got some scuffs on there. And at the same time now, uh, we are aware that this will fit a normal Allen size screwdriver. If you wanted to use this to actually put something together like a screwdriver, which is very nice. Um, looking at the bottom there, it looks more safer to put something in as the chrome effect, I believe, is inside the online exclusive version. Again, the activation switch is here. You use that to just extend the Sonic. And if I'm honest, I prefer the extended on this. Another point for this Sonic as well, as there is kind of a bit of a, a fight back with the online exclusive version as the Electro Chrome isn't as, uh, let's say, it, it, it's it, there's some friction there basically. With the online version, there is a bit of friction, so this one I this one definitely does extend a lot more smoothly. Um, yep, I, I do like that. Another point to the standard version. And you can see once again that even though the core of this Sonic is um, clear, it does still reflect blue from certain angles. Turning to features now, so yeah, exactly the same. You just press down the button here and there you go. Really nice to see that again. The same old, same old sort of... Uh, yellowish, orangish coming through the emitter when it's activated there. And of course now because, in fact let me just turn the lights down on this for you, because there is no electro plating reflecting this thing, the light is kind of more secure when it's in extended mode. Much more controlled and not all over the place on like the online version. Very nice, and unfortunately, uh, I have got to say, which makes me uh, confess that this will be the Sonic that I will probably have in my pocket more often. There is a, there you are. There is a small crack on mine, but again, this is always going to be my rough and tumble one, and the fact that it's covered in scuffs just makes me not worry about having it in my pocket. Next to the two roundels there. Now, of course, I'm sure what is going to be a big decider for a lot of people about this is the fact that it does not have the secret sounds. Yes, I know, unfortunately, unlike the online exclusive version, there is no micro switch at the bottom. So this Sonic does not have the same secret sounds that appear in the online version, meaning that there is no red setting, there is no green setting and no yellow setting. Which makes me wonder uh, why the sort of yellowy orange light core sort of appears in the middle there as before I put that down to maybe it's the other LEDs at the bottom. But the fact that this just stays a nice sort of tealy light blue colour, uh, it, it must just be something to do with the plastic. I'm not sure on why that appears there. I mean, maybe it's something something to do with the show. Maybe it's something to do with the toy. We'll find out as time goes on. Again, just to put the bottom on, you just simply slide it on here and turn it anti-clockwise until it clicks. And then there you go. Now, of course, this Sonic doesn't just have that sound effect. There are others inside of it as well, just exactly the same as the online exclusive version, pressing the button twice. will activate the sort of quieter, maybe diagnostic sound effect. Pressing the button three times. Activates the sort of charge up sound effect. Pressing the button four times. Activates the alarm sound effect and pressing the button five times.
we get the loudest, uh, the longest sound effect in the whole of Sonic Screwdriver toy history. And uh, let's just check if what happens if we press it six times. Oh, I think I must have made a mistake somewhere. That's the long sound effect. I've always, hang on a second, are there six sound effects in this? One, two, charge. Nope. Oh, okay, sorry, I must have miscounted one. But yeah, you get the general idea. It has the same five sound effects as the online version. And of course, the moment I know you've all wanted to see is these things side by side. I know that a lot of people have said that the online exclusive version does look a little bit thinner, but that's to do with how the light reflects off the electro plating. There is basically no dimensional difference at all. Let's have a look here. You can see with the head, nice and shiny compared to the standard version. Again, this one just, and let's see, there's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of friction there with this one because of the electro plating. There is no different, I'll probably say the uh, crackle effect there is a lot stronger on this version, but I'm not sure if that's just this one in particular. But with these two, you can see it is a lot more standout ish. See the electro plating is down here as well. If I let me just flip it around there with the leather section. The leather, the, the leather section itself is exactly the same, and the electro plating is indeed here on the uh, pommel part of this version, as it is quite dull. Still very nice though on the standard version. The clicker on both is exactly the same. There is no issue there about there being a difference in say tightness or awkwardness. Something else I've noticed is that the electroplated one is slightly heavier, probably to do with the fact that it is electroplated. This one is definitely lighter, whereas this one has a tiny, tiny bit more weight to it. Again, it's easier to press the button on the electroplated one, where on the normal one, it does require a bit more force. And you can see on the online version, uh, of this is that the there is electro plating on the inside as well giving it that silver effect which makes me not really want to put a screwdriver end in here but on this version that isn't the case so you can easily just slide a screwdriver end in there and not have to worry about scratching anything as this is just the standard version I'm sure there'll be loads of these in the future even the electro plating on this little clockwork doll here that's really nice so yeah it just really makes me appreciate this even more nice one so again, I know there's going to be a lot of people out there who are disappointed that they weren't able to get the Electro Chrome uh, version of this Sonic Screwdriver. But essentially, regardless of whether you have the standard or the Electro Chrome one, you're basically getting the same toy. It does all the same things and has the same appearance of the toy. Um, the way I look at it is that the um, online version is a nice, lovely, polished version of the prop whereas the standard version is maybe after it's been used for filming purposes or maybe even on an adventure with the Doctor, it's just got a bit uh, grubby over time. So yeah, I mean, don't let the um, online version sort of put you off the standard one. To me, if I didn't have the online version, I'd still be happy with this as yeah, you are basically getting the same toy. However, if the online version, which has the Electro Chrome, is the version that you want after seeing this video, please be very careful about how you go about getting your hands on one. Um, there is a rumour going around that character will be doing another run of them, so of course make sure you're there for when that happens. We don't usually get a warning, it just sort of goes up that they're available, so just every day, keep your eye out for one, just check whenever you can. If the secret features are obviously the decider for you, whether you want them or you don't want them, I hope this video has helped. 
they're a nice bonus but again like i said you are essentially getting the same toy regardless of which which version of this sonic you get so please don't be disheartened if you can only get the standard uh, if you're unable to get the online version this is still a beautiful sonic and an amazing toy replica of the prop just a bit of bonus info now so as you know in an earlier video i was able to go down to rubber toe replicas and nick was kind enough to let me borrow one of his laser screwdrivers i had to of course take it back and luckily for me i took it back when this screwdriver was announced so nick was very kind enough to let me have a look at the prop replica and oh my goodness it is a beauty the prop replica is gorgeous it of course is very similar to this uh color wise as even though the one i saw i mean when Nick makes his own, I'm sure they'll all be lovely and shiny like this one. But the one I saw was very similar to this. Um, I know because obviously a lot of people who have been lucky enough to purchase the replica, lucky buggers, will obviously be really excited. And there's not going to be a lot of videos around for a while. All I can say is, yep, there are LEDs in all of the claws here. I've heard people refer to these as petals now or prongs, but I've always called them the claws. Having the LEDs in the claws really does make all the difference. The roundels are also more secure. As you can see here with the toy, they collapse down, but they the roundel section are basically stuck on, so it all travels down as one bit. Um, some more information as well. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but with the prop replica, when you extend it to about, let's say, there then the Sonic pretty much takes over and automatically flings open. So I'm not sure if that's going to be used for flicking purposes, but yeah, it's a very powerful, very well-made put together prop. So again, just extending it to about here and then all by itself, the prop replica will ping open. Also, because I wasn't sure in the last video as well, upon seeing the prop, it is one, two, three here, which rotate and the clicker, it's fun on this toy, but does not do the prop replica justice. There is something so satisfying about turning the dials on the prop replica. Um, it is a beautifully designed Sonic. And again, you can see the Gallifrey in there, which is the name of the uh, the son of the man who put this one together. A beautiful, lovely little idea. I really do like that. It's, it's, so, it's so nice, it really is. Um, but yeah, so the prop itself, oh, you guys are in for a treat. Because I know there's a lot of people that... Um, follow and chat to me who have been able to put pre-orders down i'm so jealous of you all the prop next to this thing of course the toy is phenomenal it is so nice to get a really accurate version of the toy regardless as you can see there it still still collapses when you place it down it's not as strong as the replica but still um this is a beautiful sonic the replica itself is gorgeous um i'm so jealous of all you lucky buggers that have got one Oh, so yeah, you know what? I'm going to say this Sonic screwdriver is just completely tied with the 11th. The 11th Doctor Sonic is my favourite. And I genuinely think that this thing has really cut it close. Oh, gorgeous. I absolutely adore this Sonic. And so this brings us to the end of the review. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you're someone who's waiting to get your hands on this, I hoped it sort of stoked the excitement of getting it again. If I wasn't able to get the online exclusive, that would take nothing away for me personally for owning the standard version. It really is a brilliant toy, brilliant replica as well. Again, the way how this thing basically works, like the prop is so brilliant and so refreshing. I, I genuinely love this thing. If the secret features are definitely a decider for you and you decided to sort of say no and hold out for the online version, please do not pay a ridiculous price. It really isn't worth it. And it just encourages the scalpers to keep on doing it. Again, we all love collecting, whether it be the toys or the prop replicas for, say, investment. But again, just be clever with it. You know, don't go chucking a ridiculous amount of money on these things. It's supposed to be something that we enjoy. So again, please don't lose a fortune over it. Uh, and I'm I'm sure the character will, again, make loads of these throughout the course of the years. I'm hoping, personally, as I said before, for a set of old Sonic screwdrivers with the chrome finish. That would be glorious. But 
until then yeah i'm happy with this i wouldn't let it take anything away from me if i couldn't get the online one a beautiful toy yeah i just absolutely adore this sonic it really is one of my new favourites. So yeah, definitely one of my new favourites. I hope this video has helped you come to some sort of a decision on whether you want to pick one of these up or not. Um, again, with your decision on which one you should get. Or if you've already decided that you are going to get this Sonic and you just want to sort of check it out before you purchase. I hope this helped with that and sort of, again, stoked up that fire of I can't wait to get this character. Yeah, you, you did an amazing job with this Sonic. You really did. It's, it's such a refreshing lovely lovely toy and it just honestly to someone like me that collects the prop replicas as well it means even more to me that it works just like a prop replica so i take my hat off to you can't you know like i said before all eyes are on you for what you're going to do next i know that you have released some images of upcoming toys again i don't want to spoil it if anybody hasn't seen them yet or if you're waiting to see them on the shelves but yeah beautiful beautiful sonic uh, this will be, as you can tell, like I said before, this one has got some chips and scuffs all over the place. So if you are in the, the store or the shop and you can see these, I recommend just picking a couple up and going over of them and seeing which one is in better condition, which I think is a common sense to people like myself who collect the toys. We sort of pick up the action figures or the police boxes or whatever and just go over it to make sure that we have, say, the best quality one. I'll definitely be picking up more of these in the future, um, not to sell, I mean, yeah, I might pass on a few to my friends who are now unable to get one, but at a reasonable price or even as gifts, uh, mainly for myself for display purposes. But yeah, this will definitely be the one that I'll keep in my pocket and take with me to conventions and meet up with friends as it is already covered in scuffs, blah, 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 blah. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Again, I hope it's helped. I hope it's, uh, I just hope you've enjoyed it basically and again uh, please hit the like down at the bottom please hit subscribe your support regardless of whether it's a subscriber or a like is really really appreciated i genuinely appreciate all of my followers because you're all such lovely people and especially on the instagram um it's lovely to talk to all of you and get all your support it really is a lovely community we've got over there once again thank you all for stopping by and checking out the nerds archive i really do love putting these videos together it means so much to me all of talking to all you guys, your support, the conversations we have. It's a great community we've got. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will see you all in the next one. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are staying safe, staying awesome. And I will see you all very soon. Take care, everyone, and bye for now.